What's going on everybody? Welcome for the first time or back to another DLJ Works video. And in this video, I'm going to give you a Photoshop tutorial on how to easily overlay transparent text on top of a video. Now, this is done on a Mac Mini uh, on the newest operating system that you could possibly update with the Mac. And there's going to be some extra steps specifically with this. So if you're doing this on a PC, the same steps may be required, but I'm not really sure as I'm not using a PC, but on a Mac is definitely going to be different. So what we need to do first is you need to go to your finder folder and go to applications. This for this to work in order to get this done in the way that I'm going to show you your Photoshop app has to be set to Rosetta and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to right click. After we click on Adobe Photoshop, we're going to find a secondary app in this folder. We're then going to go to get information. And then from here, we're going to make sure that it says open using Rosetta. That needs to be checked. That needs to be in there. All right. Because if it's not, you're not going to be able to render video or create a video timeline in order for this. We need the video timeline in order to do and complete this task. So after that we're going to close this out it's open to rosetta so that's checked and ready to go on that so next we're going to click on our photoshop program and next what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on new file and this is also in photoshop cc 2022 so if you're using an older version of photoshop you may not even have to take those extra steps because the function to render video and export it that way should already be built in into an older version of Photoshop. But if you're using the Photoshop 2020 CC 2022, then this is going to have this is good what you're going to have to just do with this uh, tutorial. Now I'm going to go ahead and make my width dimensions 1270 by 720. This is pretty much like YouTube resolution scale definitions for video. So I'm going to just name this oh, text overlay tutorial. All right, I'm gonna try. I'm trying to go through this quickly, but as thoroughly as I possibly can at this moment. So we're going to then go to create. All right. Now, if this window is not up, I'm gonna close this out so I can actually show you how to bring up your timeline window. And you, what you want to simply just go to is just go to window and just go to timeline to bring that up and add it right down here. Okay. So we're going to go to create video timeline, and I want about three layers here. All right. And actually, I may not even need this third layer, but because when I get ready to add the video, it should already be over here. So the video is going to actually be added to the first layer. So now I'm going to go to file and I'm going to go to uh, let's see here. I think it's going to be place embed. OK, good. All right. Perfect. And where is that video that I just added? Moving skyline. Okay, so this is probably a 4K video. You have to really be careful because if you're using an older version of Photoshop, the actual uh, RAM that these videos could take could actually make your Photoshop program um, crash if your video, if your your version of Photoshop is not able to handle the 4K videos or any other higher resolution videos that you're adding to it. They've made the scratch disk. The, the space on the scratch disk is going to be taken up really quickly. So I'm going to add this is about 10 seconds. I'm going to actually make this shorted to like a five second video. So I'm going to go to place. And that's another reason why this needs to be set in Rosetta, because if it's not set in Rosetta, you won't even be able to add video onto your timeline. So that is really important for you to understand on that. OK, now our first. OK, so adding that the three layers really did help. It placed it right here on a layer that I wanted to add it to. OK, and when you're trying to change the the size of it, all right, when you first put it on here, you can do that. But once you actually click on the arrow to set the size, you really need to reset it again. Um, so Photoshop will usually tell you that it is going to. It is going to. Um, take temporarily to make it into a smart object in order for you to reset those size dimensions. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring this down. Uh oh, let me go ahead and click off of that. So I'm going to bring this down because we don't want it as long as it is. And you can also, if you need to cut the distance so we don't have to have that as long as it is, then you could just go down here 
and shrink the zoom size down to whatever scale you need it to be. Okay, I'm going to drag that some more because we want her at five seconds. Perfect. Now, the second layer, what we're going to do is actually I'm going to add a background here. All right. And so for the background, you won't be able to see the background, but I'm going to make this a very simple little black background. So the black background is going to be set on the third layer. Okay, I'm going to show you why I'm adding a uh, background here. Uh, when we cross that bridge. And then on top of this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add the text. Now, if you want to go ahead and see where your text is at, you could just click on that eye icon to make your video disappear temporarily. So now I'm going to make sure, make sure you select some thick text. So that way your text is visible and wide enough and thick enough in order for your video at the end to show through on this. So now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to type something. All right. We could keep the lorem ipsum, but I'm going to go ahead and put down um, I love, actually we're going to make this in all caps, I love birthday cake, all right? I'm going to make this super large. And that's probably not befitting for the skyline that we got, but just for a simple tutorial, we're going to leave it just as it is. I'm going to make this super large, all right? And I'm, let me double click back on this. Go add, I love birthday cake in June for the month of June. Now, the text that I'm actually using is Arial Black because it's a lot thicker and it's very easy to actually see the video come through when you're actually doing this. So we want to also make sure that we have some color added in order for this to work because what we're going to do next with our video is we're going to make this into a clipping mask. Okay. So now I'm going to make my video pop up. And now what we're going to do next is we're going to click on our video layer, our layer with the actual video clip on it. And we're going to now go to, because it's already a smart object, all right, we're going to now go to create a clipping mask. And voila, boom, very simple, very easy to do. And right, right there in three steps and three layers. Okay, but your layers need to be in the order that I actually just showed you here. So your black background, because once you actually create a clipping mask of your video, it takes the shape and form um, under the type of text that you actually have. And the black background, as you can see, overlays uh, where the text is going to be. So if we want to preview this, if you watch, if I click the play button, you're going to see the background, the video move within the text, the clouds move, the skyline move. And as you can see here, and I got a lot of other programs open right now, so it's moving kind of slow. But when we export this, you're going to actually see this very clearly. So I don't want to play this too much because I'm not trying to really take up too much space on my scratch disk. So now from here, what I'm going to do next is, because this is ready, I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go to uh, Export. I'm sorry. We want to go to, let's see here. Yeah, we want to go to Export. We want to go to Render Video. Okay. So you want to name your video, you want to select a folder. I'm going to put this in my downloads folder so we can easily find it. Okay, so select the folder so we can make sure that you find where you place your video at. That's important, pay attention to this. And all these other things are already set in terms of the dimensions, the document size, the frame rate, all of that, the 3D quality, everything. So we want to just go to uh, render. So really only thing you should be really changing is the location of your folder in terms of where you're saving this. So you're not going, where, where did I save my video to? Where is it at? We don't want that to happen. So we're going to like this export. All right, perfect. Okay. And if you want to save this file, you can. You just go to save. Uh, text overlay. I'm going to save this on my computer, not to the cloud. Right now, I'm going to just leave it in my downloads folder. Okay. And remember, this is all done on a Mac, Photoshop CC 2022 on a Mac. If you need to, if there's some sort of Rosetta setting on a PC that you need to do, you need to make sure that you do that as well. So let's take a look at what our, um, I don't know why I didn't, hmm, that's interesting. Okay. We're going to, I'm going to close out Photoshop for now so we can go ahead and get rid of that timeline. I don't know why that happened. Okay. And now we're going to go to our file folder, our finder folder. All right, we're going to look at our text overlay video. And I'm gonna hit play. 
five seconds look how clear that is and we can see the actual text the video moving underneath the text background the text transparent overlay so that's going to be it for this video um, if there was anything that was unclear I could have maybe uh, went over a little bit more thoroughly to add some clarity please let me know in the comment section below but I hope this really gave you a very simple way of actually doing this especially on a Mac because there are some extra steps that you need to take in order to make sure that you can render your video and make this happen um, thank you for watching again stay tuned for the next video and I will see y'all in the next one